Hello folks, this is Audio Tron 1003 and this is the last in my Bollard brochure and products um, videos. This one is Signature Traffic Management Products. Now in this um, folder that they sent me, it contains more than just bollards, but uh, for the uh, purpose of this video, to keep it shorter, I'm just going to concentrate on the actual uh, bottle, uh, bollard products. So, uh, so this is the brochure that they sent me, and inside we have a uh, a pullout on their bollards, and just briefly, there's pedestrian safety school warning equipment base lighting which um, I think I will cover and these are uh, sign lights um, I think that's that's basically it so for the purposes of this video I'm just going to concentrate like I say on the uh, on the bollards and first of all I'll focus on uh, the signature uh, base lights so uh, and get this open so here we have a choice of let's see 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 13 there's 13 of these so as usual I'll, I'll basically uh, glance through them and um, and we'll have a look at what I've got and uh, this incidentally is the one that I chose um, for my particular bollard, which is the City Flex, so uh, so here we are. This is a PF94 uh, base light. Um, uh, uh, there's my City base. Actually, I may I may have gone for that, judging by the tick. But uh, it's been such a while, I'm not sure if I actually went for this one since I've got a City Flex um, because I tried as best I could at the time to uh, to basically um, match the bollards with the bases so uh, I imagine all these are for different purposes depending on what the contractors needed at the time so uh, here we go um, so even within the base lights there's uh, there's quite a collection of them and um, and judging by this one, this is something that uh, I imagine would be close to what my uh, Pierce Gauchel uh, K94 and K90 um, bollards would have used or do use. Uh, because I remember these things having a, a kind of a, what looks like a giant staple sticking out of both sides. Although it's buried with all the rubbish that I've been collecting over the years. So uh, when they uh, took over Pierce Gauchel, they probably took over their bases as well as some of the uh, bollards that were made by them. So we're just having a a look, and uh, there's a product codes. Okay, and uh, if I go back over here. Just have a quick look at these. Like I said before in these videos, they're not that interesting unless you like looking at the technicalities of um, internally illuminated bollards. But there are a few of the uh, uh, community out there that are into the street lighting and such that would be interested. So that's one reason why I've made these um, videos. And uh, here's some of the the wording on the top, just to allow people to read it, hopefully. Um, it's a bit difficult for me to uh, get all this in one shot, because if I zoom out, as it were, you might not be able to read it. So that's the, uh, the pull-out. And there it is, all together. And this is just the, uh, the back page with some basic sort of uh, shelves and and such and the tick box of uh, what each one does as it were and an example of a product in use so that's the uh, what I would consider the boring bits 
This, on the other hand, is what I was more interested in. This is the bollards themselves. And judging by the picture there, this one looks like a, uh, a road sign Franco PF94 bollard, which is uh, one of the bollards that they took over. So let's have a look. And there it is. So the PF94 signifies what contractors and uh, authorities would have referred to it as uh, as a previously manufactured bollard from um, road sign Franco. So this is the literature. Okay. And I did have one of these back in the day, uh, but I didn't like it. And... Um, I got rid of it and in those days before uh, eBay came around I chopped it up with a, a rip saw and stuffed it in a uh, wheelie bin because how would I explain the disposal of what looks like council property but nowadays I probably would have put it on eBay so here we have the K2000 very similar to the K94 uh, the four aspect bollard made by uh, Pierce Gauchel and just out of interest there it is that is the uh, the K90 slash four next to the K90 um, so there's subtle differences but they are quite different and here we have an example of the different uh, aspects and we have the Island 600 bollard. Everybody made one of these back in the day. And uh, signature no exception. So over on this side we have the Superflex. I did like that one. But um, I wanted something a bit different. So I opted for a different shape altogether. And uh, here we have the Meridian. And in brackets are the um the old names for these this telford i've seen a few of these around they look kind of like a rip-off version to a symbol made by simmons signs if you was to put them close together they would make a nice pair but uh i'm considering this a kind of a knockoff or direct rival to uh to the symbol and then we have the granada the K90, which I showed you earlier. The Shore Flex, which is like a, a square version of, um, of this one. Um, I do like it in one aspect, but I wanted something different. And that is why I chose the City Flex. And, uh, and the great thing about this one is, uh, if you pick it up, you can hug it and it will crush. Uh, it's very soft, and um, and that's another reason why I chose this one. It is a very bulky bollard, but um, it's the other thing I liked about it was as a throwback to the old-fashioned '70s bollards. It's got the two amber panels down the side, just like the old metal bollards used to have. So uh, there was a number of reasons why I chose it, and those are the reasons. And there's your uh, product codes and things. There we go. As I work my way back up to the top of the page. Okay. And that one. And then if I go to the back page, it's the same as before. It's a uh, it's a kind of a directory with ticks and what things are compatible with what. So not much to say there. So that's the paperwork over and as I've done previously in videos if I've got an example of the real thing then I show it and this is it. Now I didn't really want to take all these books and things off the top so I've left bits and bobs in there but I've chosen the, uh, the keep left sorry the no entry aspect um just to keep it a bit different and uh if i zoom down there's your uh, signature logo and there's the base 
I suspect it's probably a, a Cityflex base for this uh, particular bollard. Um, it's a bit difficult to get in there because even if I took the bollard shell off, the way it's uh, positioned against the wall, I would have had to have dragged it out, which would have meant clearing everything out. And uh, if I move to the side, there's some spare lamps and stuff for my bedroom. And there's the example of the uh, panels. And um, it is slightly bowing out because I've got um, I've got some books on the top, but it's not enough to uh, cause any problems. It is like I say, it's a uh, it's very flexible. It's like a squeezy toy. Um, that will eventually uh, puff out just like that. The idea is that it can be squashed uh, when there's an uh, impact with traffic and then uh, slowly uh, force its way back into shape. So if I step back and we'll get to see it um, compared to uh, some of the other bollards. So if we imagine that that one there, which is not switched on, is uh, also a city flex bollard you can see that it's actually uh, not a very tall one uh, and if i step back further you can see the other bollards lined up with it so that's the signature city flex in my next video um, when i get round to it i'll make an individual video for the uh, pierce gauchel k30 um opal version as opposed to this one because they're basically the same thing so anyway um that's pretty much it um no more to say about the uh, bollard brochures so next time it'll be an individual bollard so until then thank you for watching bye